shit. Sorry. I know that sounds really hard to believe, but I really didn't want to do it. Oh. Hey. Well, at least this isn't awkward. So do you want to tell me what this is all really about? What do you mean? It's pretty shocking behaviour from a friend. I don't think you've got any right to talk to me about behaviour. Chatty bunch, aren't we? What happened to you? Nice to see you haven't come out of it unscathed. Actually, this happened later. So, what happened? Well... <laughs> Hang on. Where's Ben? Somehow, I don't think he's going to make it. Oh, shit. 
This is going to take some explaining. Sideways. <laughs> Here's to another ten glorious years. Uh, I'll drink to that. Yeah, me too. Oh, by the way, you guys didn't have any trouble getting here, did you? No, no, it's fine. Yeah, no, not a problem. Well, I didn't want to say, but I almost got mugged earlier. What? You didn't mention that before. Oh, I didn't want to make it first. Well, what happened? Well, I was coming outside the station. Try and mug me. Sometimes you've got to be tough. Well, I don't know if I can offer that much incident for the rest of the weekend, I'm afraid. I can manage without thanks. So, has anyone heard anything about any of the other guys we used to knock about with? You remember Fibber Gibbon? Oh, oh my. Fucking God, they were fucking Gibbons. I haven't thought about that guy in years. Oh, oh what, what was it he always used to say? Um, um, I'm not, not really, really allowed, allowed to, to talk, talk about, about it. it. Yeah. But. but. <laughs> knees, you don't want to talk to me about bad knees. You know, mine have been replaced now by a system of complicated pulleys and levers. Yeah, top secret government experiment, you know. Yeah, you know, I'm actually doing deep undercover research for the CIA at the moment, yeah, infiltration. He's very quiet though, hush hush. Please, you don't want to be eating peas. Now they promote breast growth in men. Yeah, the fruit and veg industry, they don't want to eat enough. They like tits on men. Total fucking nut job. Whatever happened to him? Became the mayor of Poop. No, really? If ever a man a politician stencil across his face. Oh, too true, too fucking true. Speaking of blasts from the past, I saw Dave recently. Endless, Dave. Yeah, that's the fellow. Uh, didn't the two of you used to, um, oh. go out? It's oh, a mild way of putting it. <laughs> yeah, we were more about saga than a relationship. Oh, here yeah, I remember now. Oh, come. Where did you get that? There's a bloke selling over there. You've been staring at his arse all fucking night. Why don't you just go over there and shag him? Oh, that's rich. Coming from the man who's been drooling over Mary's tits all night. I never. Oh, so it was some other knuckle scraping Neanderthal who was slobbering every time she bounced past, was it? Oi. Why don't you go bang some rocks together, you monosyllabic moron? My impressor. In fact, why don't you just go and fuck her anyway? I doubt she'll even notice that pathetic little chipolata you call a dick as you waggle it in and out of her anyway. I'm a grower, not a shower. Woo! Woo, woo, woo. You two can fuck right off and all. We all do. Fucking off. I, uh, I really hated that guy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard you say that about anyone before. Oh, yeah, didn't you and he... No, no, don't! Well, uh, I wouldn't really call it a fight. It was a lot more one-sided than that. You don't remember that? 
No. I, I can't have been there. You were stood next to me at the time. That doesn't necessarily mean I was there. So what is the enigma that is Dave up to these days? Nice to see he's finally become a useful member of society. To be honest, that might be a bit of a stretch of his talents. Talking of stretching talents, it's time to point Percy at the post. Oh. Pure class as ever. What's happening? What's happening? Carefully, Mike. <coughs> Never mind. Are you Charlotte Vale? I think it would be best if you came with us. Come on. <coughs> <coughs> So why did he give it up then? <laughs> well, I can see that the pleasantries are over then. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound rude. Just curious. You were really good. Yeah, I thought you were excellent in the hidden room. Thanks. Means more coming from you guys. <laughs> so why did you? Quit that is. Oh! Maybe suggesting that for me or anyone else unlucky enough to come in here. You'll squeeze so hard, you'll have three at apples. You see where I'm coming from? <coughs> well, it just wasn't the life for me. Don't get me wrong, it was great while it lasted. Just wasn't for me. Well, I still think you should have won for that performance. Yeah, yeah well. I don't begrudge it. The better actor won. Oh, I didn't deserve it, really. Charlie had much more screen time than I did. Oh, Phil! Bitch. I haven't eaten them for years. How come my piss smells of sugar puss? <laughs> ah, yes. Another of the great imponderables of life. Some things man was simply not meant to know, no. no. <laughs> I miss anything? Life, is it? Runs past where you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fat boy cracks are funny. Hey, you know I hate it when you call me that. I'm not even fat. Oh, anything to wind up a nerd. Look, you can scoff all you like, <laughs> but people treat me with respect these days. That's only because you sign the paychecks. Teach. What? I'm only teasing. Oh, sorry. Better take this. Hi, honey. Is everything okay? Woman. Can't live with them? <laughs> well, that's just it. You can't live with them. Oh, quick is off. Clear the decks. Please say change. Yeah. Nothing changes either. <laughs> took the words. Chubby took the fucking words. Oh, 
You kind of become nostalgic for it. <laughs> Instead of finding it a massive pain in the arse. Or embarrassing. I was always just embarrassed. <laughs> to explain an eye date, miss. We had to do the usual when the waiter came over. He always looks so peaceful, doesn't he? Of course he bloody does. It's all right for him. He gets to have a lovely sneeze while we have to do the explaining or tidy up. Or run him to hospital. Oh, yeah, I'd forgotten that. Well, I didn't. <laughs> Six hours saving up in casualty and bled like a stuck pig all the way there. All over my trainers. Not fun. I always used to wonder if maybe sometimes he was putting it on. Oh, Charlie. Oh, come on. Great opportunity to eavesdrop. Find out what your mates really think about you. I guess it's a genuine one then. Fine bunch of friends you are. How long have you been? Long enough to know you find me a bloody embarrassment. <laughs> Which, coming from you fats, can be very depressing. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, I love you too, you freaky geek. <laughs> I'm going to have my own company. No, I'm going to have my own company. I'm going to give you a job. And I'm going to fire you. <laughs> for being a dick. That's what I'm going to do. Why did you fire him, people will say. For general dickishness, I'll say. And that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, look. My little geek is growing up again and vindictive tendencies all of his own. And really yeah, brings yeah. a tear to my eye. Yes. Yeah. And when I've given you a job, when I've given you a job, I'm gonna call you Dick Boy. <laughs> yeah. And you're gonna call me Mr. Benson. And you're gonna doff your cap and kiss my ring as a mark of respect. <laughs> what are you gonna be the fucking way? I can if I want to. That's your way. You'll see. I'll show you. Or you can kiss my ring, you little freak. I hate you. Oh, I love you too, you freaky geek. I'm gonna find that girl. Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Have you arrived yet? Yeah, yeah, I've just arrived. Where are you? I'm just sat out by the statue in the main square. Just wondered if you fancied meeting up for a quick catch-up before we meet the others. OK, OK. Uh, let me put my bags down. Fair enough. I'll hang out here. I'll see you in about, say, 30 minutes. How does that sound? 30 minutes it is. See you soon. Excellent. OK. See you then. Bye. Take one, my dog. Oh, you own your loads anyway. I've only got two left now. Well, I haven't got any. Why don't you buy some at the office? <laughs> I'm not going to buy any more and try to give up. Oh, shit, look at that. Bobby, Bobby, no, what are you doing? This is all the Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh. 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 
Sounds ominous. No mobile phones. Switch them off. If people need to get hold of us, then tough. What, you are loving a BB worried? Sodden. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. I might need to take a call. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm sure the mighty Fat Boy Corporation, or, or whatever it is you call it, could run without you for one night. I don't know. Well, I'm in. Me too. Young Master Benjamin. Haven't been called that for a while. Okay, fine. Right, so what say we make like a hockey player and uh... Get the puck out of here? Well, I was just gonna say piss off, but that actually works a lot better. Shall we? It was a nice Bulgarian town like this, doing around a girl like you. Shit, you got fat and old. God, you're even uglier than I remember. <laughs> so how are you? I'm good, I'm good. And you? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. So we're both good then? <laughs> well, at least this isn't awkward. Shall we? What have you been up to? Are you still writing? Dear Mr Doherty, I'd like to start by thanking you for choosing to send your manuscript through to McDevitt and Lee for consideration. It's precisely the sort of manuscript which reminds me why I became a publisher in the first place. To prevent tedious, amateurish and quite frankly downright offensive material like this from being inflicted upon the viewing eyes and minds of the general populace. If I were to rate this manuscript out of a million, I'd be doing the greatest service to the very concept of positive numbers. I'd rather give a diseased sailor a rusty trombone than read another word. I note that you include return postage, so as a favour to you I'll be sending back the exact same number of blank pages forthwith as I believe they are worth more than the spoiled sheets which I received. Yours in the sincere hope that you take this advice to heart and cease your imbecilic scribbling, devilling with Devitt. I mean, I don't want to get my hopes up, but I think I'm on the verge of landing a big deal. Really? That's great. I remember you at uni always talking about being a writer. You know, Charlie, whatever it takes, I'm going to be a writer. My new novel is going to be so big. I think my writing is really... Nice view. Uh, what about you? How's the acting? I saw the last one, Hidden Room. I thought you were excellent. Any new things on the horizon? Um, well, no. Actually, I quit. That was six years ago now. Really? Yep. No, really? Yep. Six years. Shit, I thought I saw that recently. Yeah, in the bargain bins, I would imagine. I liked it. Thanks. So, what are you up to now? Well, by day I live the action-packed, fun-filled lifestyle of a financial accounting clerk. And by night, a devoted wife and mother. Yeah, TJ told me about the wedding. Congratulations. That was six years ago now, but thanks. Six years? Any link to you not being an actress anymore? Well, maybe some minor links, yes. So, how many kids have you shot out? <laughs> you always were a classy man, Will. One son, James. He was three last week. Wow, three. Now I feel old. <laughs> so how is motherhood? Honey! 
James has made a bit of a mess in here. Really, hon, he's... James? No, put that... Hon, could really do with some clean-up ASAP out here. Fine. I'll make the tea, I'll wash up, I'll clean up after the kid. I'll just do the lot, shall I? Thanks, hon. terrified by the thought of settling down. But really, it's been great. I love being a mum. And being a wife? I love being a mum. Okay. So what about you? Little woman at home, ironing your tea and cooking your socks? Oh, you know me. Carefree, bachelor life and all that. <laughs> Still rubbish for girls, eh? Good girl, Jim. <laughs> You know the one, when you dated at uni. Oh god, what was her name? You know the one, bit blonde, hoity-toity. Oh, what's her name? Jennifer. Yes, Jennifer, that's it. <laughs> Whatever happened to her? You arsehole. You complete and utter arsehole. How can you lie about something like that? You're what? Oh, don't even speak to me, you freak! Well, actually, we kind of drifted apart. Is there anyone new on that horizon? Well, there is one girl. But I haven't told her yet. Never thought it might be a good idea to. Maybe... Maybe I will. We should go after him. No, oh, leave him. He's a big boy. He can look after himself. You saw the state of him. Yeah, and whose fault was that? What, yours? Have you had a come here? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's always my fault, isn't it? Always anyone's fault but Will's. Never Will's fault, even though he's a fucking freak. I'm that great you can't get over me after all these years. <laughs> you arrogant prick. You never fucking change, do you? Well, maybe this is what you deserve. Did you ever think of that? Oh, you're just such a... Oh, go on, tell me. What exactly am I? You're just an evil, manipulative cut. Oh. Has he asked you yet? No. You? Nah. Bet still stands. Ah, it's a bit like old times, you losing out to me again. <laughs> In your dreams, sunshine. So how's it all going for you, man? I saw that documentary about you. Nice. Yeah, it was, um, interesting. I noticed we weren't in it. I didn't think you'd be interested, really. Not really your sort of thing. Yeah, you're probably right. So how's it all going? Oh, you know. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, I'm, I'm a public figure. I, I really can't... Uh-huh. I know. Uh-huh. Well, uh, okay then. Miss uh, Teschmacher? Yes, Mr. Quantic? Any calls? No, Mr. Quantic. Any meeting scheduled? No, Mr. Quantic. Are you, um, 
Are you busy tonight? Yes, Mr. Crantick. Ah. Okay, well, um, g carry on then. Yes, sir. You know how it is. Busy days. Don't get a lot of time to myself. <laughs> it must be the same for you too. Yeah, I'm pretty busy. So, uh, what's it like being an international man of music? <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm sick of this shit. I can't keep churning out the same old crap. Oh, TJ, come on, babe. Take it easy. I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this M.O.R. shit. I used to write stuff that had balls. Stuff that said something. Not this... this crap. Come on, TJ. You're getting confused again. Yeah, you did used to write stuff that was a load of old balls. And then you discovered you'd like making money more. Well, you'll continue to churn out this M.O.R. shit for as long as I fucking tell you to. I never agreed to be your musical performing monkey. Oh, diddums. I'm going to affect your rust while I change your nappy. You, you can't talk to me like this. TJ, I'm not one of your skanky groupies. I can talk to you any way I fucking like. <laughs> you can't just... I can talk to you any way I fucking like. So, you be a good little monkey. Get back in the studio and start steaming out some M.O.R. shit for your adoring punters. And I'll continue to write the checks for the booze, drugs and whores, OK? Not quite what I expected. But I'm thinking of trying something new, a, a new direction. Well, more like an old direction. So, uh, like back in the old days then? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Something like that. Hey guys, this one will do. parties the most. Although I just can't seem to drink like I used to these days. We can. Hey, uh, remember the water fight party? Ah, uh, the water fight party. Mm, I remember that. Someone get me a towel. I'm freezing my tits up here. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, it was definitely more like. Men. I know. Great out. <laughs> <laughs> Relationship with Betty Palm and her five lovely sisters. Giving them all names. <laughs> oh, now you're just freaking me out. <laughs> it's a gift, dear. <laughs> oh, I see. First Jimmy, and now you're trying on with these two, is that it? What are you joking on about now? I've seen you. Batting your eyelashes at Jimmy all fucking night. Oh, for fuck's sake. Excuse me? Oh, cool. Did you get that? It's a Blake sending over there. I reckon I know why Teach asked us to come along. What do you mean? It's a ten year reunion, isn't it? I know, but think about it. Wouldn't he invite in more of the others and it just been a uni reunion? I mean, not just the four of us. What, you think he. Yep. No. Yep. No. Yep. No way. Kinky. No. 
Malinky. <laughs> Bloody hell. Kinky Malinky. There's a name I've not thought of in a long time. <laughs> I reckon he wants a reunion of that, not just uni. Oh, come on. None of us are exactly musicians anymore. Yeah. I haven't sung for years. Do you miss your creative life? Sometimes. Sometimes. Not enough to want to go back to it. You? Well, I mean, I've got my writing, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> what about the music, though? Well, I guess like you, sometimes. But it was more Tej sort of thing. I just got swept along by it. I know what you mean. You know what, Chazza? No matter what it takes, I'm going to be a rock star. My first record is... is going to be so... So big. I think my music is really nice going... Nice view. I reckon he'll still ask us. Why would he want a bunch of mates to play together? I don't know. I've just got this inkling. In fact, I'm willing to put money on it. <laughs> Ten euros says he'll still ask us. He's not going to ask us. Then you'll be winning some easy money, won't you? Come back, TJ! TJ! Actually, there was something I wanted to ask you guys. I told you. Wait, he hasn't asked us yet. What's going on? Nothing. Go on. What are you going to ask us? Okay. Well, what I wanted to ask was, well... Get on with it. I just wondered if you guys wanted to get together and record a few tracks together for all time's sake. You know, like the old days. <laughs> I told you, Miss Vale. <laughs> you cheated. I bet you spoke to him beforehand. No, just use the <sighs> mentalist powers of my mental mind. You guys made a bet on me asking that. And what? <laughs> oh. Well? Well, what? What do you say? No way. What? No. Not doing it. I don't even know if I can play anymore. Oh, fine. Fatty's out. How about you two? Well, it has been a while. I don't even know if I can remember how to sing anything that doesn't have twinkling stars or black flowering sheep in it these days. Oh, come on, guys. It'll be a chance to recapture a bit of that old glory. Old glory? You do remember being in our band, don't you?
okay? Maybe glory was too strong a word, but don't you ever wish we could get together and have a thrash at it? Aren't you a bit beyond all that? I mean, you've made it. You're a success. Yeah, I know. No, I am, and, and don't get me wrong, it's great. But I just want to get back to my roots. So how's the girlfriend then? She's not my girlfriend. <laughs> okay, then how's the not girlfriend? She is good. <laughs> I have to hand it to you, mate. I'm pretty impressed. Why is that? Well, you must have done something pretty impressive to get a girl like that to go out with a <laughs> with a scum dog like you. <laughs> Cheers, mate. So, what did you do? I just used my natural wit and charm. <laughs> oh, you paid her. <laughs> You're very funny, you know that. You should have been on stage, a fine comedian like you. Uh, well, I think it's good for you. Stops you mooning over Charlie all the time. How to moon over Charlie? Okay, true, not in the arse flashing sense, but definitely in the... Oh, Charlie, I think you're wonderful. Oh, can I carry your textbooks? Can I lick your shoes? Oh, Charlie, my Charlie sense. You're so wrong. <laughs> oh, really? So very wrong. Oh, really? Ugh. Hey, drunken drunker. What are you two up to? We were just wondering if you are a squeaker or a howler. And I'm going to regret asking this, but what? You know, do you squeak? <laughs> or do you? See, it's um, it's different for men. You see, I'm more of a. <laughs> Whereas I'm more of a. Guys, what do you say? Kinky Malenki back in action. Like the old days. I mean, we had fun back then, didn't we? And like the summer ball where we couldn't afford tuxes and shit. <laughs>
water fight party. Yeah, yeah, all right. I think we've covered that one quite sufficiently, thank you. Don't you think she was a bit Mary Poppins used to her? Yeah, she made me go all tingly in my funny places. You're not right, you know that. <laughs> what were you saying? Oh, oh, the band. Come on, it'll be a laugh. Well, maybe it'd be fun to look around again. I mean, I could put my writing on hold. Tedious, amateurish, and quite frankly, downright offensive. That's the spirit. Chazza. Let me have a think about it. Good girl, you know it makes sense. That was a maybe. Yeah, great, great. How about you, Angie Benji? What did you just call me? Doesn't matter, was trying something new, didn't work, just leave it. What do you say? TJ, I'm just... I run a multinational company now. <laughs> you run a website? It's a little bit more complicated than that. There's an online community. <laughs> yeah, all singing, all dancing, bells and whistles, website. I really don't have the time. Do it here, but just shut you guys up. Who fucking Ray? <laughs> but not tonight, eh? Let's just have a drink tonight. That's a kind mind's a lager. Me that too. Vodka tonic for the lady? <sighs> That's not what I meant. Oh come on, Mr. Internet Tycoon, I got you. Can't believe you got a tenner off me. You were always an easy man, Chaz. Don't you start? It's bad enough he called me that. Oh come on. You know it used to make you, you know, make you... Karma, William. Karma. Oh, come on. It's been years. We can't have run out of things to talk about already. Well, no, but I've just been thinking about it recently, that's all. I don't think I've done much over the last few years. I quit. Fired. Well, at least you haven't been stuck in the same dead-end job for years. You can safely say that. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I mean, kids, husbands. How did you meet him? Well... Nothing like love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> we were married within about a year. Such a beautiful love story. <laughs> Obviously something to tell the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Back in the mail. Snoring, a bit of drooling, nothing out of the ordinary. Come back with a drink, chef. No, still up at the bar. You were right. You hit your head pretty hard when you went down. Yeah, I 
I'm fine. Look, I want to talk to you about something. Hmm, sounds ominous. No, it's good. I don't know, it's just... Well, so far I'm not with you. Look, I really like you, Charlie. I like you too. I wouldn't hang around with you guys for so long if I didn't. No, when I say I really like you, I mean, I really like you. <laughs> well, okay. I'm in love with you, and I think I always have been. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Well, I was hoping for a bit more than that. Well, what do you want me to say? More than I have for starters. I'm married. I've got a son. I mean, what, what do you want from me? But I thought you said it wasn't going well with your husband. What? When did I say that? Well, you might not have totally said it, but you implied it. You implied it wasn't going well. Well, it's a marriage. It has its ups and downs. I'm not going to lie about it. I love my husband. And I love my son. I'm not changing that for the world. I made a lot of sacrifices for them. God. Hey, look. You're my friend. I love you very much, but just... Well, if you use the words like a brother, I'll scream. Fair enough. What did you think I'd say? I don't know. I just... I just thought, maybe. I just wanted to try and seize the day. I have no regrets. No lost opportunities. Okay. But why now? What's brought this on after all this time? I mean, you've had a few years to come after me if you really wanted to. What's going on? It's not just an narcolepsy. When I pass out... It's not just an narcolepsy. I've got a tumour. What are you talking about? A brain tumour. There's not a lot they can do. Are you... Are you joking with me because I turned you down? Because that's really mean if you are. No joke. I just don't want the other guys to know. What? Why not? I just wanted this to be the final blowout to remember with you guys. Well, if you tell them, it's just going to bring them down. Oh, but it's alright to ruin my evening on all fronts, though. Hey. I'm sorry. It's just. You're giving me a lot to take in all at once there. Silly. Well, if it's what you want, I won't say a word. Won't say a word about what? That he used to have an electric blanket with a buzzer to stop him wet in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last time I saw you in secret. <laughs> oh, yes. It's why we used to call him Soggy Black and Buzzer Boy. Hey, okay, where's our drinks? I see Ben's still getting them. Weren't you helping him? Yeah, I, uh, I, I got distracted. Look, I, I need to go to the toilet. I'll give him a hand on the way back. Excuse me. As long as those hands are clean, mister. So... What were you two talking about? I told you, the bedwetting thing. Yeah, right. That's why you look like death warmed up, is it? Interesting choice of words. Come on, spill. I can't. Come on. I promise. We have no secrets between us, me and him. 
spill. He's dying. What? Just hold me. He's dying. <laughs> okay, that wasn't quite the reaction I was expecting. Oh god, that old git. <laughs> I, I can't believe he's still feeling crap like this. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? What if your oldest mate just says that he's dying? I thought you might be a little bit more upset. <laughs> I would if this was the first time he'd claimed that. What? Oh, he, he's done this before. What are you talking about? Professors on dying love, did he? TJ, what the hell is going on here? Okay. Back in here. So, come on, mate. How did you really get together with her? Told you, mate. Natural wind charm, <laughs> natural wit, and jack. I've seen you talk to girls, mate. Really help. Nah, mate, I've done something really stupid. <laughs> That doesn't surprise me. No, really, really stupid. Well, come on, you can tell me. I told her I haven't got long to live. You what? I know it was really, really, <laughs> really stupid. Stupid? Mate, that's a bit of an understatement. The word grotesque is springing to mind. I really like her. I mean, she's gorgeous. I was talking to her, she, she just gave me the, like, a brother speech, and I just couldn't deal with just hearing that again. So, uh, I, I panicked. I told her I didn't have long to live. She took pity on me, and, and, and now I'm telling you this. Mate, sick doesn't even begin to do justice to this. I know, I know. I just panicked. <laughs> we have a bloody strange panic response. Week. <laughs> so, what do you have? Brain tumor. Right. <laughs> At least the narcolepsy helps with that. Yeah, it just comes in quite handy. <sighs> you know you've got to make this right, don't you? I know. I know. It's not going to be nice, mate. Look, just please, give me tonight. Don't mention anything tonight. Just tonight, please. Not tonight, but you've got to say something tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Thanks. You're not right, you know that, don't you? I, I, I know, I know. I think you need some help. Come on, you. I want to dance. Hey, the lady has spoken. <laughs> You're such a fucking loser. Little shit. Yeah, Jennifer's reaction wasn't too great either when she found out. You asshole. You complete and utter asshole. How can you lie about something like that? You're what? I, I oh, don't just... even speak to me, you freak! He's not a well person. He's a damn sight more fucking healthy than he made out to me. Although that's about to change. Ah! I don't even have the words. I can't even begin. Fuck you. Fuck you! What the fuck just happened? I have no idea, mate. Did you say something to her? No, well. Shit, I should go after her. <laughs> Leave her to calm down. I'll go. Okay, this place is about to close, so when you find her, meet us back in my place. You got the address? Yeah, yeah, I've got it. You know what I mean, don't you? 
you understand me. You know where I'm, I'm coming from, don't you? See? I always need you get an understanding. Mm. Very good. Good. I like that. That's good. There's no answer from either of them. They'll be okay. Drink? You don't seem to be too concerned. They're wandering around in a strange country. <laughs> this is Bulgaria. They're not going to get very far. Drink? Yeah. Thanks, Pat. Can I mean to ask you, what on earth made you buy a place in Bulgaria? Well, it's cheap and I needed someone to get away from the bustle. Ah, uh, somewhere to be alone with your muse. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Ponce. <laughs> Up yours. Charming. Where's Charlie? I couldn't find her. She was out of sight by the time I left the bar. Why didn't you frame us? Lost my phone. Can't find it anywhere. Did you try the restaurant and bar? Yeah, no sign. Maybe I should go after her. No, mate. Leave her to calm down. Drink? Tequila? Yeah, baby. Yeah. Fuck it. Did you think it'd be like this? That is it. No more booze for you. No, no, really, really, seriously. Did you think it'd be like this? What do you think it's like? Oh, I don't know. I just thought I'd feel more grown up, you know. More like an adult. Married, mortgage, lots of M words. And <laughs> don't you? God, no. Do you? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Most of the time I sit around watching cartoons. Cartoons are good, though. What's brought this on? I don't know. I've been thinking about it recently, that's all. It was always your problem. Too much thinking. Life would be far much better if I blindly bubbled along stupidly. <laughs> It got me where I am today. Seriously, mate. Seriously. What? You you can tell me. In all honesty. Tell you what, mate? Are you happy? <laughs> you be a good little monkey. Get back in the studio and start steaming out some M.O.R. shit for your adoring punters. And I'll continue to write the checks for the booze, drugs and whores, OK? That must be Charlie. I'll, I'll go get it. Okay. Hey, it's okay. Don't mind me. I'm just here to pick up a few of my things.
Was it her? Can I ask you something? <laughs> Course, mate. Wherever you want. Is there any good reason why my ex-girlfriend has just turned up and gone upstairs? Oh, shit. Yeah. Shit, shit, mate. Well, this is kind of answering my question. Look, I, I, I was going to tell you about it, but there didn't seem to be much point. So it'd be much better to give me a near heart attack when she turns up. That, that's not what I meant. Well, what did you mean? A, mate? What did you mean exactly? I, I, I don't know what you're getting so bent out of shape about. The two of you finished ages ago, and I seem to recall it was your fault. Wasn't it your idea to come clean in the first place? Was that the idea all along? Oh, don't be a twat. It's not like that, and you know it. Do I? Of course you do. I wouldn't do that to you. You're just being melodramatic. No, I'm being angry. There's a difference. Oh, no, don't stop on my account. Carry on. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, please, don't keep up this pretense anymore for me. <laughs> oh, shut up. What are you doing here? Just came to pick up a few of my CDs. I left them behind. What, at this time? I was in the neighbourhood. Oh, you're such a conniving bitch. I know you're only here because I ran into you earlier. What are you doing here? Own the whole country now, do you, Mr Rockstar? I thought you were going back to England. Yeah, well, I changed my mind. Well, you can just change it back and fuck off, can't you? No. So you don't get to boss me around anymore, Timothy. That was the whole point. Why are you being so... You're here with someone, aren't you? You don't want me to embarrass you. No. I'm just... Sick of seeing your evil, heartless face looming at me wherever I go. Just, <laughs> just stay away from me, okay? You were the one who came over here, love. Oh, whatever. You were just hoping to catch me in here with some other woman, weren't you? Actually, I saw Sick Boy here in the bar with you earlier and couldn't resist seeing the expression on your face. Anyway, I'll leave you two boys to chat. I'm off to get my CDs. It's always about you. Never about anyone else. What are you talking about? Come to my place. Come to Bulgaria. Come see me. Oh, hey. Let's get in a band again, just like the old times. Even though it was me that broke up the band in the first place. Is that what this is about? You're jealous because I'm a success and you're a failed hack. Hack? Actually, that's unfair. At least hacks write something. That's right. That's right. Deflect it on me. It's never about yourself. It's always about me. Never any consideration for anyone else. That is rich. Coming from a guy who can't get a girl without telling them he's dying. That was a long time ago. It's obviously a habit that's hard to break. Judging by the way Charlie took off out of there tonight. Wait. You know I said something to Charlie. So you did say something to her then? You told her, didn't you? I oh, told her what? You told her about Jennifer, didn't you? You fuck! <laughs> So that was what happened to us. Hang on, I thought you said that happened later. <laughs> well actually that was kind of embarrassing. You're walking out on me? Beaten up by a girl, eh? You slept with Jennifer. I thought you knew. No, I didn't fucking know. Shit. Yeah, shit, mate. You slept with my fucking girlfriend. I thought she told you. Well, obviously not, judging from my reaction. Well, firstly, I was drunk. Oh, and that's a great excuse, is it? 
Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a great difference. Excuse me, Mr. Officer, I didn't mean to murder him, but I was drunk, so hey! Don't you think you're being a bit melodramatic? No, I'm being angry. There's a fucking difference. It's funny, that. Didn't you say you ditched her? So she wasn't your girlfriend anymore? <laughs> That's not the point. It's pretty difficult for me to sleep with your girlfriend if she's not your girlfriend anymore. <laughs> you threw me through a bloody window. I know. I'm sorry. It hurt, you know. So you're going to see her again? What? No, it, it was one of those, you know, drunk fuck sort of things. Had quite a night of it as far as the ladies were concerned, didn't you? You know, we really should do this more often. Don't explain what happened with you and Ben. <laughs> You're changing the subject. And she's avoiding hers. OK. You remember I told you I was working for that finance firm? Really, it's a massive conflict of interest. I know him. I can't be investigating this. You're in an ideal position to help out here, Charlie. I mean, this could be extremely high profile for us. If our firm is instrumental in uncovering this, really high profile. I can't do it. I'm not comfortable with this. He's an old friend of mine. I've already been in contact with the police on this one. They believe you're in an ideal position to help out. I can't do it. You don't have to do anything specific. Just keep him occupied and out of contact while we raid his home and offices. Really? I can't. Your husband's currently unemployed, isn't he? I don't see what that's got to do with anything. You've got a young son as well. Are you threatening me? Think of it as career advice. The kind you cannot ignore. I'd hate for your family to be struggling along with two unemployed parents. You can't threaten me like this. I'll sue you. Which will cost you a lot, and you'll lose. I guarantee it. Especially when certain irregularities come to light. What irregularities? I haven't decided yet. But when they do, you'll never work in a financial institution again. This is far too important to us. You will do it. And is it really worth throwing your career away for someone you haven't seen for nearly ten years? The police have done their homework on you. I suggest you think about what you're going to do. wrong just thought I'd give you a call how's James good <laughs> good no honestly nothing's wrong okay okay yeah yeah I'll be home normal time okay yeah love you too Days. That's only because he signed the paychecks. Teach. What? I'm only teasing. Oh, sorry. Better take this. Hi, honey. Is everything okay? We're all ready to go from this side. Uh huh. We need you to get him to switch off his phone. Under no circumstances must anyone warn him. 
Okay, I'll see what I can do. There's one other thing. We need you to get hold of that phone. It may have some key information on it that we need. What? That wasn't part of the deal. I know, I realise that. But we need that phone. If you get it, drop it in at the local station. Okay, I'll try. Okay, thanks. Good luck. It's funny. Ten years on, you kind of become nostalgic for it. Come on! Always an easy match, has it? Don't you start? It's bad enough he calls me that. Oh come on! You know it used to make you, you know, make you. Karma, William. Karma. Okay, I've actually managed to get his phone. That's excellent. It should have exactly what we're looking for. Can you drop it to the local station? I really don't... I'm not... I don't think I can... Look, as we discussed, you're totally anonymous. You'll never know anything. I'll know. We really need the information that's on that phone. Fine. Okay. I'm going. Thank you, you're doing a great service here with... So you betrayed your mate? Nice one. Well, I didn't really have any choice. <laughs> yes, you did. You chose your job over a friend. I don't think you've got any right to lecture me on right and wrong, you sick little freak. You told me you were dying. For a sympathy shag. That's really twisted. I am. Why don't you fucking start that again? I swear. Come on, mate. You can't keep doing that, really. I mean, you've got to stop. It's no joke. Come on, mate. Stop pissing around. It's not funny. No pissing. And you're right. It's not funny. Shit. You... You're not joking. You asshole. I shouted and I slapped you and I stormed out. And all the time you were... You were... Why didn't you stop me? Have you ever known anyone stop you while you're in full flow? Um. <laughs> Shit, mate. I, I thought it was just like back in Yedia. I, I just thought... It's all right. You say these kind of things and they, they come back and bite you on the bum. It's been a learning experience. Not that I can put it to any use then. No. <laughs> Don't joke about it. Come on, it's laugh or cry, Chaz. <laughs> I told you not to call me that. When you called, I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to have a final blowout with you guys. Some send off. <laughs> if that had been a disaster of epic proportions, it wouldn't have been like old times. Personally, I could have done without the defenestration. I know. I'm sorry. So what happens now?
like the fuck this guy. <laughs> he's, he's my best friend. And he's gonna be a famous fucking writer someday. And he's gonna be a famous musician and we're gonna be <laughs> 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 The, the, the drunkest dog of infinite regret. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, she's, she's really going to regret that later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck do you think you're doing with my phone? Over there, why not? Take notes. No, no, don't!